joining us in, awesome. in studio, host of 95.7 The Game, Joe Lowe and Dibs. It's Lorenzo Neal. We've been taking phone calls because Lorenzo Neal's just got these folks whipped up into a little frenzy. How are we doing this morning, buddy? I'm doing great. Anytime I can come in and hang out with you guys, I'm having a ball. Looking at you two beautiful men, I'm glad we got these chair situations started because I walked in. You wanted to stick me right in the middle. I was like, oh, got the old reverse Oreo going this morning, Nick. But uh, <laughs> we, we uh, you know, I got to the corner and got my little spot. And now I've got my – Draw my line in the sand. I'm ready to go. We'll put old green arms right in the middle. How All about right. That? There we go. I love you, green Keep arms. Keep it at that. I Rich Bisaccia, Raiders special teams coordinator, going to be joining us in 25 minutes. Wonder what the reaction's like in Oakland to John Gruden, and you're up in the Bay Area. Are people responding to the Guru, or what's the feel about the Raiders right now? It was it was amazing when Gruden took the, took the head coaching job over. They had the press release. The press was at the Raiders facility. Four or 500 people showed up, standing room only. It's Gruden is the Raiders. It's interesting. He's the face. He he's the everything. Face. He's you, star power. No question. You wanted a guy. You're moving to a town. You think about the you the Raiders, Oakland Raiders, the L.A. Raiders, and now going to be the Las Vegas Raiders. If you think about a team that's been moving so many places and still have that gravitas that can still pull fans, it's the Raiders. It, you know, there's, they said there's 30, 31 other teams, and then there's the Raiders. Their fans are so different, just so unique in the way that they tailgate and everything they go about themselves. You're like, if you're the opposing team, you don't know if you want to walk in that stadium with your other uniform or another, your team because uh, those fans can get rally, rally, pretty rally. But um, it's great. I think the town has accepted him. I think that when you look at Mark Davis, I know people criticize the different things that he's done. And still, the Raider fans that are in Oakland, they're very, very disappointed that this Raider team is leaving. They are so upset. But Oakland Gruden, Raider oh, fans. no question. The folks from Oakland. But overall, Raider Nation is like a band of gypsies. <laughs> I mean, the overwhelming majority of Raider fans are just cool with whatever. They're just they happy are. to have a team to call their own. But Oakland folks, they've got to be hurt. Uh, they are. This is the second time you ripped their heart out. And... You have a lot of fans that are just saying they're going to boycott. A lot of people are like, just leave now. You know, they're kind of that, they're kind of in no man's land because, you know, they, they have that two years we're still going to be playing there. They, there was even talks of the Raiders. It was so getting so bad of talking about coming here to play here in San Diego. Oh, there was talks up north of them coming down to play here. Right, just, yeah. for, wow. the, just for the remaining yeah. two years because the Chargers leave. You think about... The politicians up there were, I'm sure, quite displeased. Yeah, and the politicians in Oakland was like, get out of town. So if you think about from the diff Southwest Airlines and the different things you do, if they would have came here and played for those two years before the stadium's done in Vegas, you think about the you think about how many fans. Nick, we hell, we played here. Yes. And we seen the fans from Tula Vista, from Del Mar, everywhere. When it was sometimes more LT Hell would do an announcement. Charger fans, don't sell your tickets because it would be – this is a lot of Raider country yeah. even here. Lorenzo Neal with us in studio. We've had uh, Troy called in, told a favorite story of you on the field. Cody told a story about meeting you in person. You want to talk to Lorenzo Neal on a Tuesday, more than welcome. 844-570-1360. At Hardwin and Judson, 1360. It's at Lorenzo Neal on Twitter, right? Absolutely. At Lorenzo Neal on Twitter. Lo, I, I got to give you credit, man, because I watched that John Gruden press conference. And – you you said four or five hundred media members standing room only, and there you were. You were in line and stood up and asked a question. And I remember thinking, "Oh wait a minute! If I had the NFL career that you had, I don't know if I'd be able to be there just with all the media types like me." Just, but I I also really appreciated the way that you know you transitioned in this career, and there you were. You asked a great question. I thought Gruden. <laughs> May give you a look, knowing who you were, but you were just there as a media member, doing yeah. you know, doing work. And what did John Gruden give you? The well, sneer? Hey, well, Neil, you know, hey, look, <laughs> you're right. And you know, you know, because uh, Belichick talked about snap face and Snapchat and all those things. He yeah. doesn't know about that. So I was trying to be a little humorous. Hey, hey Gruden, you know, you know, you got think about the personalities you have. You had Michael Crabtree at the time, still yeah. Marshawn Lynch, who's doing his Oakland own thing. He's out there. His show, all those different things. You had Marquette King making an album, all the things that are around. And Gruden's like, this is, you know, I understand. I, I got to be flexible, but I tell you right now, we got to watch that stuff. Can't have these guys doing that. I understand that they're a brand, but I'll tell you, you got to be buttoned up and playing football for Chucky. So uh, They got a ton of turnover, too. Oh, talking yeah, about yeah. getting buttoned up, talking about kind of taking that individual yeah. brand out of it and, like, let's be about the Raiders first. And, and that's what they're doing.